Hi all and welcome back to my channel of an everyday life of an ASB. I'm going to just quickly share one more topic based on the autism series leading up from that Autism Awareness Acceptance Month. Even though I'm coming of late for the Anzac one, so they'll probably be putting on hold probably at a later date for what I want to share with you all. This one's going to be basically based on like what I've been researching right now, based on some hot debate about Hans Esperger himself, basically about giving like the autistic children to the Nazis. So just a word of warning or disclaimer out there for you all that watching basically this might cause some trigger for you guys as well as for the content warning I'm about to share with you all based on this research so hopefully you guys won't be too far of a threat you know of this so let's begin this as I'm gonna ask you guys do you remember the time when I was sharing about Hans Asperger the famous clinician basically about how the term came about with Hans Asperger's syn or the as term Asperger's syndrome he say basically how it came about well, obviously, I shared some of it briefly. What is this bitch's syndrome? Which I'll link it in the eye bar by me here. So, well, it has now been sold and claimed, or said and claimed about about this man who gave his name to the condition, delivered these children to the Nazis to be euthanized. It has now been revealed on this, as well as many other people that weren't deemed, you know, Abled bodies, you know, he say of certain disabilities, be it you know people in the Down syndrome and all the like, which I'm going to share more hopefully later on this. It's shared in one of my old videos, though, as I said, just to give you a quick overview. Hans Asperger was an Australian pediatrician who pioneered the research of autism in the years of the third 1930s and 1940s. According to new paper research, however, it has now been shed to light about. An up also an upcoming book, basically. He did, however, corporately, actively with a program that he was working on that was introduced to the Nazis in time in which children, disabled children were killed. And this was, you know, proven at time for children with Down syndrome, as said before, was also euthanized. A medical historian by the name of Henwick Jicks published in a journal called Molecular Autism states that Asperger's of the reports linked in the description if you want to know where I've got this from um, please forgive me of the ones that may know clinic where, al where almost 800 children died under the Nazi program many of which of those were given lethal injection or being gassed after many achieved documents has been or were reviewed however including sex found out that although Asperger didn't join the Nazi party however itself he did however join some affiliated groups and publicly legitimized race hygiene policies including forced sterilization Asperger did manage to accommodate himself to the Nazi regi regime of, that was rewarded for his information of lawsuit with career, career opportunities I was then however added that nothing was suggested about Asperger's work on autism that was even tainted. Asperger's first described a group of the children with the condition as at that time autistic psychopaths in the year of 1938. Asperger's syndrome, I think I may have shared a video of what it's all about to you and you know it will be as listed above and below in the description. Vienna's medical facility faculty however was purged and ranks filled with the ideological ways of the Nazis after the country's annexation in the years of 1938 by Hitler's Germany. After that year of the annexation on that paper, however, it was said that Asperger tried to prove his loyalty in the regimes of the Nazis as well as giving public lectures in which he then therefore declared his allegiance allegiance to central elements of medicines from Nazis including that race hygiene. Asperger also at this time signed off on reports with Hail Hitler. Race hygiene, however, or the actual term racial hygiene was used to describe an approach to eugenics in the early 20th century, however, which was founded to be the most extensive implementation in Nazi Germany alone. 
This term was introduced in the year of 1895 by a German eugenicist by the name of Alfred Ploy of the term that was called Rassenheidung, if I'm pronouncing it right in Germany, or German, I should say. Alfred then discovered the importance of avoiding counter-selective forces such as inbreeding, um, free healthcare to the poor, alcohol, and will be venereal diseases. This was stated in the Wikipedia, which I'm going to share more on that later in the above link or below you to find out more. Asperger, so back to Asperger himself, however. His involvement of the Nazi's child euthanasia program that was introduced included being on common that screened more than 200 patients at a home for mentally disabled children. This ch child's euthanasia program served as a goal for Nazis of eugenically engineering a genetically pure society through racial hygiene and the elimination of the lives labelled as deemed as a burden and not worthy of life. In the year of 1980, however, Asperger died and also recommended the transfer of two girls, one aged two and the other one aged five, to spiral gangrens. His research was relatively obscure until the year of the 1980s. In the 1990s, however, this term of suspicious syndrome was then recognised in medical texts and some of the medical journals that you're known for today of the Testicle Diagnostic Manual. Um, to find out more basically about this upcoming book called Suspicious Children, The Origins of Autism and Nazi, Vienna will tell or share more about this in detail of this treatment of people patients with Asperger's syndrome as well as the children. Another reference to add into the description before I end this is neurotribes that someone suggested to me to read up so I'm going to do that hopefully maybe share, shed some light on that as well. Um, also in saying this just to say during this time there were many other history reports during the time of the Nazis of what was going down of certain things if, if people know about the history of the Nazis what they think and obviously to this day, as I shared before, on um, what I want to discuss about the touchy topic about euthanasia, about it, my, you know, uptake about it. If you wanted me to share it, let me know in the comment section below. But it is actually coming to that now of euthanizing people again. Yet my belief was, to this point of time, though, with hands of what he done to these children. He had to do what he did in the field of being killed or sent to a camp, I believe. Even those for those who had done wrong at that time had to do it in recognition to save lives, their own lives as well as their families and whoever else that was involved in this predicament. So this quickly ends basically a bit of hands and speeches gives autistic children to the Nazi. Smash the like button, comment below. Feel free to share these videos around. Feel free to also follow me on my social medias. Feel free to also basically turn on the notification bell so you can keep up to date with my everyday you know topics or what have you feel free to also subscribe because as i said i'm hoping to do this on daily monday to friday or monday wednesday friday time depending so not for there guys thanks for your support thanks for watching do what you love love what you do until next time and i'll see you again soon <laughs>